Here we are in Thrivecart and we're going to go under the products tab at the upper right hand corner. We're going to go products and then you can search for products and I'm going to create a product. Now you can do a digital product or a physical product that would be shipped out, but I'm going to do a digital product. We're going to hit create new product. Okay, here you can type in your product name, then the label. Now this is just for you to identify for internal purposes. So no one else is gonna see this. So I'm just gonna do Thrive Cart Course. And then the checkout. And this is gonna be the URL. So how to create and sell online courses with Thrive Cart. That would be the URL. And the URL does have to be under 40 characters. If you wanna go even deeper into Thrivecart, I have a free course that walks you through Thrivecart, setting up Thrivecart, all the ins and outs of Thrivecart. It's a over the shoulder type of view where you can see exactly what I'm doing click by click. And I also have modules on things like pricing a course, how to come up with your course topic, how to market a course, how to get beta testers in a course. It goes to the ins and outs of setting up a course, launching a course. And like I said, it is completely free. So definitely check it out down below in the description. And I do want to say, if you don't have Thrivecart yet, I have a link for 50% off of Thrivecart lifetime access, which is amazing about Thrivecart. There's other course platforms where you have to pay monthly or annual, but with Thrivecart it's lifetime access, and I have a link for 50% off. I do receive a small commission if you use my link, but like I said, you get the 50% off discount for using the link and you help support me and my family. And so I can continue creating free videos like this for you and free courses like the one down below in the description. So check Check it out, check out the course and check out Thrivecart if you have not already. So now it is going to go to pricing. Now you can do pricing as free or you can set a pricing structure as well. So we're going to do set pricing and they have different options. So you have one time fee, subscription, split pay or pay your own price. So I like to set up multiple different pay options. So one time fee. So we're going to do $199 and one time free, you can do a trial period. I'm gonna do no trial period. This is just for, if you specify for a trial period for your customer, they will not be built until that many days after purchasing. And then customer email purchase. And then the quantity, if you want, you can have a limited quantity. So if you may say this is only available for 10 people or 100 people or however many it is. So I'm gonna do that and then hit next and hit save. Then I'm gonna add another payment option. So this one, I'm going to do a split pay. So this one I am going to do to 75 and then three payments of 75. So they're gonna be paying a little bit extra for 225, but I wanna give them that option to pay only $75. Then hit save and you can even do another option as well if you want. You can do a, another split pay and you can do maybe $49. And then you can see here, if you do the five payments, it's going to automatically calculate how much it's going to be costing the customer, which is really convenient here. So we could do that. We can do mm, four payments. That's too low. Let's do five payments of $49. That way it's super attainable for them. They can get the course for under $50 a month. Then we're going to hit next and save. You can also do monthly payments as well. So if you have a subscription, so if you have a monthly membership, you can do that there and pay your own price. This is interesting. This is like a, almost like a tip. And you can also have it as the minimum price. So we can say, okay, minimum price is a hundred dollars, but they can, you know, pay as much as they want. And then if they do, then we could do this. Thank you very much. And this is a, this is an interesting method. I've never used this one, but it is an option. Okay. Then you can do calculate sales tax and you can calculate based on location. You want to enter your initials. Then do you want to customize your payment notification? So there's detail notification that breaks everything down, or you can do a basic notification. So hit next. Okay, so here you can put in your company information, the billing information. This is going to automatically populate with the course name. You can also add your logo. So I'm going to do that here. Then your logo will appear here on the left and you can change the colors. You can do branding colors, anything like that. You can also put in the hex code. This is the hex code that I got from um, Canva when I used that. So I can put in the hex code there. So that way it's a little bit more branded. Then you can add text at the top of the payment notification, anything like that. 
So I'm going to hit save. Or if we did want to do basic notification, let me show you what that's going to look like. So that is just very simple, a lot less information, a lot less detailed. I personally like the, the detailed one better. And we're going to hit save. And then we're going to hit next. There's a bump offer. So there is a difference between a bump and an upsell. A bump is a pre-checkout offer. So that's before they check out that this offer is there. And it's typically a pretty inexpensive. Or you can do an upsell, which is after they put in their credit card information, after they make the purchase, then it is an option for them to add on that purchase, but they don't have to put in their credit card information again. Typically, bumps are a lot smaller, like a $7 product or something that is more inexpensive. And an upsell is typically another course or something that's even higher than the initial product. So you may want to get them in the door with a small offer something that's, you know, $12.99 or $9.99, something small, and then offer them a membership or offer them a course. So an upsell is typically a lot more. So let's do a bump for this. And the bump is going to be a um, course. I'm just making this up as I go. A course sheet sheet checklist. And let's say that this is going to be $7. So should a bump be pre-selected? So some people have this pre-selected that they have to have it removed after removed so that they don't get it. I think that's shady, to be honest. I personally don't agree with that. So I always do the customer must click on it to order. So we can do a physical type or a digital download. I'm going to do a digital download. Then we're going to hit next. Then we're going to set up the payment processor. Now, I personally do not do anything with PayPal, with Thrivecart. I have been burned and I've noticed that with PayPal, the subscriptions or the if you have a payment plan or a split pay, the second time that they're billed and the other times that they're billed after that, it really does not go well. If they don't have active money in their PayPal account, it's not going to get billed. It's going to be a, a payment failure. And then you get sent an email, they get sent an email, they have to transfer funds into their PayPal. It's not like it automatically pulls from their card. I personally don't keep any money in my PayPal that whenever I pay with PayPal, it gets transferred from my bank. But if you use it as a payment processor with Thrivecart, if they don't have money in their PayPal account before it processes, it goes as a fail payment. So now I only do Stripe. That is personally something that I do in my business. In Stripe, they can use cards and stuff like that. So I personally only do Stripe. So I'm going to activate Stripe and I'm just going to do the legacy. And we're going to do the select Stripe account. And then I'm going to hit freedom and budget, my email. And then you can also do Google Pay and Apple Pay as well. And you can set that up and then we're going to hit save. Then we are going to hit next. Now, do you want affiliates to promote this product? Yes, we want affiliates to promote this product because that's a great way to get some, some more sales. It's helping other people out. So we're going to set up commission. So we are going to do the same for each payment for option or different. So I always do the same. So that way, if it's a one-time payment or a split pay, they get paid the same percentage. And I personally like to do 30%. So 30% commission, and I do that for both. And then commission due after. I always do 30 days in, in case someone does ask for a refund. And then we're going to hit save. Then we're going to hit set up the options. So the options is we're going to do... Um, the cookie time period, I like to do a three month long cookie and you can add URLs here. You can add for a lead magnet URL or a webinar URL as well. And that's going to make it so that way, if someone signs up through a webinar, so say I have an affiliate and that person has a customer or a person that signed up through my webinar, then purchases it maybe 30 days later, they're still going to get credit. So that's a really cool option to give to your affiliates. You can give them lead magnets, you can give them webinar links, so that way they can drive more traffic that way. Then we're going to hit save. 
and next. Okay, so after purchase. So after purchase, how do you want them to access their product? So you want to put your company URL. So I'm going to do Kelly at freedominabudget.com. And then we can you can send them their invoice. You can redirect them to a URL. So maybe you have a landing page that has some information for them or an article that you want to redirect them that breaks it all down on your website. You can do that or you can add them to my membership. So I always do membership site. And then I have it in Thrivecart Learn. So we're going to go over this in, a, in another lesson. And then same for all pricing options. Yep, we want the same. Then you want to select the Thrivecart course to apply for this purchase. So we're going to go how to create and sell online courses with Thrivecart. Now to select this, you need to have this done previously in Thrivecart Learn. So I will have the video linked for you on where to go for this in the module of where it is. But you want to do this in Thrivecart Learn first before you do this. At least create the course so you don't have to have the whole course built out, but at least have it set up in Thrivecart Learn so that way you can attach it here. All right, then we're going to select the course to apply for the bump purchase. And I'm going to select Dreamer to Profitable there. And then it sends you into a custom success page. That's optional if you want. You can also have them ship a CD, DVD of customer. I've never done that. So then we're going to hit next. Now that you've created the course, the next step is to build the sales page. And Thrivecart has beautiful templates. I make it so easy, so user-friendly. I walk through how to do it step-by-step. -step. I build a sales page with you live. Check out that video here.